Hello, everyone. To all of you gathered today in Stockholm and to our friends around the world, it's an honor to join you in honoring the life and legacy of Raoul Wallenberg, son of Sweden, a citizen of the world who reminded us of our obligations to our fellow human beings. When Jews in Budapest were marked with that yellow star, Raoul Wallenberg shielded them behind the blue and yellow of the Swedish flag. When they were herded on trains for the camps, he pulled them off. When they were sent on marches to their death, he followed with the food and water that gave them life. I will never be able to go back to Stockholm, he said, without knowing inside myself that I'd done all a man could do to save as many Jews as possible. And therein lies the lesson of his life. Not simply to bear witness to man's capacity for cruelty, but to have the courage to choose. To choose to do all we can do. To summon inside ourselves our capacity for good. As we mark the centennial of his birth, as we observe Holocaust Remembrance Day in the United States, we reaffirm our duty. In the face of indifference, let us choose compassion. In the face of intolerance, let us stand against anti-Semitism and hatred in all its forms. In the face of oppression, let us defend the universal rights of all human beings. In the face of evil, let us refuse to be bystanders. Let us fulfill that solemn pledge never again. All these years later, we still remember Raoul Wallenberg as he was, a young man in his early 30s who earned his place forever in the righteous among the nations. In all the years to come, let us, like him, find the same courage in ourselves to do all we can do and strive as nations and as individuals to be among the righteous.